Hi, I'm Michaela Strachan, wildlife and television presenter. If you've got a bit of time, chill out with me and the wallowing hippos as I show you around South Africa, a country full of natural beauty and the country that for the last 20 years I've called my home. We're starting in Durban and I'm heading to a place called Ghost Mountain to take in some Zulu culture. Then I'm off to Isi Mangaliso wetlands to check out some great dive spots, beaches and of course, some fabulous wildlife. Got my coffee? Let's go. So this is Ghost Mountain, my first stop. And this really was a very easy three hour drive north of Durban. And this place is full of African history, culture and legend. That's Ghost Mountain and it looks like a lady lying on her back, looking up at the stars. There's all sorts of folklore about the mountain, but considering some African ancestors were buried in a cave up there, probably is home to a ghost or two. There's a huge variety of things that you can do from here. You can go on safari, a boat cruise, a hike. But what I've chosen to do first is a cultural tour. When I go traveling, I like to get a feel for how the locals live, especially off the beaten track in rural areas. These tours are done really well here, and the Zulu people are proud to share their traditions. It's also a great way for tourists to support local communities directly. I always think on holiday you should learn a new skill, so here we go, wish me luck. Okay, be nice. <laughs> but this is all traditional Zulu stick fighting. That was more tiring than you'd think. And I absolutely love Zulu dancing. This is a real treat. In this area, there are a lot of fabulous game reserves that you can go to and you can go on a game drive, but I'd really recommend booking a walking safari. It's incredibly immersive and you see things that you definitely wouldn't see from a vehicle. And it's a brilliant way of listening and looking at loads of different birds. This is one of the most colourful birds, lilac-breasted roller. Looks like it's just had a whole load of paint thrown at it. Pincer from the scorpion. Oh wow, look at that. You've got to look at poo on a walking safari. <laughs> and that is mongoose poo. Two hours drive towards the coast and you start to feel a very different vibe. The easygoing beach lifestyle takes over and dive shop signs line the road. This is Sodwana Bay in the Isimangalisa Wetland Park and these beautiful beaches stretch right up the east coast to Cozy Bay which is on the Mozambique border. And along here, if you come at the right time of the year, you can do a nighttime walk to see leatherback and loggerhead turtles laying their eggs. I really recommend it. It's incredibly sensitively done and a fantastic thing to see. But if you're a diver, then you're definitely going to want to come here because they have some of the best dive sites in the world. Isi Mangaliso is Zulu for miracle of wonder, apt when you realize the sheer extent of the wetlands. It was declared a World Heritage Site in 1999, as much for its awe-inspiring beauty as its global environmental significance. If you come to the lake system, then diving is definitely not an option. You'd rather get a nice relaxing boat trip to go looking for some huge animals that enjoy a good bit of old-fashioned wallowing. Oh. Now this is what Lake St Lucia is famous for, it's hippos. There are about a thousand of them here and they live in these family groups known as pods. Now at night time it's when they're active, they'll be out on the grass munching away, but in the daytime they do what hippos do best, wallowing in the shallows. Now I happen to do quite a good impression of a hippo. Okay, ready? <laughs> Yes! Got an answer, got a reaction. As well as hippo, the lake is home to crocodiles and over 360 species of birds. As I got off the boat, the team from Makakatana Bay Lodge had prepared a feast. Well, after a morning on the water, look at this for a sight to come back to. I mean, this really is a picnic, isn't it? I tell you, lodges around here really know how to do hospitality. And you'll go home from here with a heart full of memories a tummy full of good food. 
A tour of the KwaZulu-Natal coastline is an easy and fabulous trip and it's so full of variety. From the choices of safaris, to the birding, to the lakes, to the culture, there is just so much to do, as well as really wonderful lodges and fabulous safari picnics. So if you want a holiday to remember, head for Durban and go north. You won't regret it. <laughs>